meditation, she will share her talk. And her talk is entitled, Releasing Judgment in Favor of Joy and Peace. So let us welcome Terry Miles. Thank you, everyone. I'm so happy you're here. I'm happy I'm here. <laughs> you haven't noticed. Um, and I love a mic. I love a good mic. And um, so let's take a moment and um, just take some time in meditation. And we'll just take a few minutes and you can just sit silently, bring your place of your heart to your center and just resting there, and you can do it with your eyes open or eyes closed. You're just settling in now, centering down for a moment, allowing your hearts to open and gently sit in the silence for a moment. Join me. As we gently bring our attention back to this space, we welcome ourselves home, the place we never left, the mind of God. Receiving a breath here. Let's bring this time in meditation to a gentle close, our hearts still open, our ears fertile, our hearts fertile, welcoming in more time together as we bring this time to a close. Amen. Amen. Welcome everyone once again. My name is Terry Miles. I am very happy to be here today. Um, I want to thank Reverend Carol and the Unity of the West Side Church for inviting me here to share this Truth Talk with you. Uh, this Truth Talk is based on the teachings from A Course in Miracles, um, also known as ACIM or The Course. What is A Course in Miracles? <clears throat> the Course is a non-dualistic teaching, a self-study spiritual teaching, it's the teaching that supports the awakening to truth, that we are truly one with God. For some, this can feel like a big teaching with different concepts that challenge our beliefs and our relationships with God. My approach to this teaching has been to be gentle with myself. Some of you that know me know that is a word that I use often. And I treat it like anything I'm practicing that's new or different. 
How do I take on something that's new or different, something big or something that challenges my beliefs and my relationship with God? Well, one small step at a time. I recently came across a social media post that symbolizes the importance of small steps. So imagine two ladders, one ladder, short spaces, and the, the climber is like making its way up to the top. The other image, the other ladder, has the rungs or the spaces are larger between, and there's the person at the bottom of the, the ladder just can't even reach that first rung because the spaces are too big. Well, the first image is how I imagine taking on the teachings of the Course. I ask you to join me today imagining that you are that person climbing the ladder with the spaces that have the smaller rungs. One of the ways the Course supports awakening to the truth that we are truly one with God is through forgiveness and the release of judgment. Today I'd like to talk to you about releasing judgment in favor of joy and peace. There's a quote I love from the Course and it says, you have no idea of the tremendous release and deep peace that comes from meeting yourself and your brothers totally without judgment. When you recognize what you are and what your brothers are, you will realize that judging them in any way is without meaning. This quote is very powerful and inspiring to me. It invites us to experience a new way of living based on trust, acceptance, love, and forgiveness. I'd like to share with you what this quote means to me and how we can apply practicing it in our everyday life. So what does it mean to meet yourself and your brothers totally without judgment? To meet yourself without judgment means to recognize the, and accept your true identity as a perfect child of God, the creator, source, created by the creator. It means to let go of those false beliefs and illusions that you have about yourself, such as sin, guilt, perceived weakness, unworthiness, weakness, fear. It means to forgive yourself for all the mistakes you think you made mm -hmm. and to realize and to allow yourself to open and accept that they have no effect on your reality. It means to love yourself unconditionally and to appreciate your uniqueness, and your gifts, and that you are innocent and holy. Mm -hmm. To meet your brothers without judgment means to see them as they are, not as you perceive them to be. Let me say that one more time for the people in the back, the people in the middle, and the people in the front. <laughs> and on my side. <laughs> to meet your brothers without judgment means to see them as they really are, not as you perceive them to be. It means letting go of all the projections and expectations that you have about them, such as their faults, their flaws, their offenses, their differences, and even their attacks. It means forgiving them for the wrongs that they have done to you and realizing that they are also innocent and holy. It means to love them unconditionally, just like we're meant to do for ourselves, and to extend them that same grace and mercy that God has given you. Now, I'm not saying you've never felt wronged or hurt, uh, or that you've never had an experience that made you feel that way. To meet yourself and your brothers totally without judgment means to see beyond the appearances of the world and to recognize the truth that lies within. It means to see the light of Christ in everyone and to join with them in what the Course calls the holy relationship. It means seeing yourself and your brothers as one and sharing the same purpose and the same will, that goal of forgiveness and healing. A couple of weekends ago, I was um, welcoming in what would be this truth talk and uh, I began to pay close attention to how I was moving about my days. 
And I was on a girl's trip, and that girl that I was with is here, and she knows who she is. And I needed a part for my laptop. And we walked into the electronics store, and there was nobody around. Suddenly, an employee shows up. Right away, I said to myself, well, she can't help me. <laughs> I even whispered, whispered back to my friend, she can't help me. <laughs> they don't know anything. <laughs> I haven't even spoken to this person. Yet, I have judged them by their appearances. Anybody do that? Anybody do that? Anybody not do that? <laughs> Next stop, the nail shop. Now remember, I'm on a girl's trip. We decide we're going to do Manny Petty's. And I remember I had some thoughts about nail shops. I have the feeling and the thought of them rushing around all the time, not taking care of me, and all these things, right? In both of these experiences, in the electronics department and in the nail shop, what you know might be uh, seem kind of mundane, but I realized I needed to, be, to, to pause and to become fully present. So I stopped. I asked to see the situation differently. This is where that tremendous release and deep peace part comes in. Uh, it's what we welcome in when meeting ourselves and our brothers totally without judgment. So when you meet yourself and your brothers totally without judgment, you're available to experience the sense of joy and peace that you may have never known before. You free yourself from the burden of guilt, fear, conflict, being defensive, that maybe have weighed you down for so long, or in my case, for an instant. Mm -hmm. You free yourself from the bondage of the ego and the illusion of separation that's kept you in that place of disturbance and darkness and upset. You free yourself from the need to defend yourself, to attack others, or to justify your actions. Mm -hmm. You free yourself from the past mm -hmm. and the future and live in the present moment. So what happened in the electronics store when I stopped? <laughs> what happened in the nail shop when I stopped? Now, you know, this took place like this, right? I asked to see it differently. The employer, the employee, super, super helpful. The nail shop staff, oh, I got massage on the hand, <laughs> taking the watch off, they're rubbing on my hand. It felt so good. I had a visceral experience. Now, let me just say to you, nothing changed in the external. <laughs> the employee was being the employee. The nail shop people were being the nail shop employee. Nothing changed out there. It was my thought, my perception about what was going on in the electronics department <laughs> and the nail shop. Let's briefly explore that second line of the course. When you recognize what you are and what your brothers are, you will realize that judging them in any way is without meaning. Mm -hmm. Recognizing what I am and what my brothers are means to first recognize my true nature, our true nature, your true nature, our innermost essence, our core being, light, that light that is within me. And that light is eternal and unchanging. It's the same light that's within all of us because there's only one of us in the mind of God. And this light is good. As we do this, we get to hold this light for ourselves and for our brothers. We begin to release judgment and welcome in that feeling of joy and peace. Mm -hmm. This is what, uh, right in line with uh, one of those unity principles that I really love. And it says, we are spiritual beings created in God's image. The spirit of God lives within each person. Therefore, all people are inherently good. Mm. Accepting this, truly accepting this, helps me to realize the meaninglessness of judging myself or my brothers. When you meet yourself and your brothers without judgment, you open yourself to experience a sense of peace and harmony and joy that surpasses all human understanding. 
You feel the presence of God, the one, the universal presence, as the Course calls it as well. Love in your heart and in everything around you. You feel the connection and the communication that you have with the Holy Spirit and with your brothers. This is what happened when I became present in the electronics store, in the nail shop. I became fully present. I opened my heart. Now this might seem really simple or maybe a really hard thing to practice or something that doesn't even mean anything to you. However, the joy and peace that you experience from meeting yourself and your brothers without judgment are the gifts that God has prepared for you and that God wants you to have. They are the natural uh, consequences of choosing to follow God's plan and to accept God's will. They are the signs that you are awakening to your true self and to your true home, that place you never left. You never separated from the mind of God. So what are some of the ways to practice meeting yourself and your brothers totally without judgment in your daily life? Well, Whenever you look at yourself in the mirror or think about yourself, remind yourself that you are a perfect child of God. God loves you as you are. Extend that love and forgiveness to yourself and forgive and the forgiveness you extend to yourself. It, oh, let me say this again. Extend love and forgiveness to yourself and the forgiveness you extend to yourself is forever believing you were anything other than the perfect child of God. Affirming your mind that you that your true identity and your true worth are good. Say to yourself, I am as God created me. I am holy, innocent, and free. I am loved and I am loving. So here's the interactive part of our service here. Let's practice together. Eyes open or eyes closed. Join me in receiving a breath here. Now think about yourself, in your mind or out loud, repeat after me, I am a perfect child of God. God loves me. God loves me. Now let's affirm this together. Repeat after me, I am as God created me. I am as God created me. I am holy, innocent, and free. I am holy, innocent, and free. Now this last line, I'm going to ask you to, you know, step it up a little bit. <laughs> I am loved, and I am loving. I am loved, and I am loving. Yes, let's receive a breath here. So... What happens when we interact with someone else or someone comes to our mind, whether it's a friend or a stranger or even an enemy? Remind yourself that they too are also a perfect child of God, that God loves them. See the light of Christ in them and extend love and forgiveness to them. In your mind, say to them, you are as God created you. You are holy, innocent, free. You are loved and you are loving. We're going to practice again. So bring someone to your mind. Eyes open or eyes closed. Let's take a breath here. In your mind or out loud, repeat after me by saying to them, You are a perfect child of God. You, you are, are a perfect, perfect child, child of God. God. God loves you as you are. God loves you as you are. Let's affirm this together by repeating after me. You are as God created you. You are as God created you. You are holy, innocent, and free. You are holy, innocent, and free. You are loved, and you are loving. You are loved, and you are loving. Let's receive a breath. I'm wrapping up here. So, you know, the Course teaches that whenever you feel tempted to judge yourself or someone else for any reason, to stop and ask the Holy Spirit, as I mentioned earlier, to help you see the situation differently. Mm -hmm. This is what I did in the electronics store. This is what I did in the nail shop. I remembered to stop, to pause. I wanted to be shown the truth, to correct my perception. 
When you practice doing this, you might just simply say to yourself, help me see this differently, or I can see peace instead of this. Not from the place of concealing or bypassing, but from the place of asking for a correction of your thoughts in the moment. That's what I practiced in the electronic store and the nail salon and probably a few other places along the way. <laughs> so in closing, I leave you with this. As you continue to practice releasing judgment, there's a simple way to tell how well you're doing this by how you feel. The Course mentions that this is the one right use of judgment. Mm. There's a quote actually from the uh, Course that reads, watch your mind carefully for any beliefs that hinder its accomplishments and step away from them. Judge how well you have done this by your own feelings, for this is the one right use of judgment. You can simply ask yourself this, Am I willing to release the chokehold of judgment, of thinking that I know everything and believing that I'm right and then feeling so constricted and so upset and so disturbed? Or am I willing to release judgment in favor of what I really want? Joy mm. and peace. Mm. Mm. Thank you for the privilege of your time. I extend the blessing of joy and peace to each of you. This is your natural inheritance. So as you are practicing releasing judgment, remember this. It's your birthright. Joy and happiness and peace. Mm. Thank you. Mm. invites us to sing along with her. And the song is Remembering Who You Are. Remembering Who You Are.
Mm-hmm.